before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. So I haven't done a proper Walmart and Target hunt in a little while, mainly because my home stores pretty much suck as far as staying stocked with things. But I took a chance this past week and I finally scored some stuff. Jesus fucking Christ, it's about time! Movie related toys and action figures was the goal and that's exactly what we found. Stay tuned at the end of the video where I show you exactly what I picked up. So I'll see you back here after the hunt. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Back with another one. Ready to go find some toys. Maybe some movies. Wish me luck. Taking the back way. It's too crowded up front. Because it's all part of the plan. Oh, look at this. This isn't supposed to be here. Somebody made a business decision. No way. A lot of people are looking for this. I think I'm gonna pick it up. Definitely restock the wrestlers. I don't see anybody I'm interested in though. Finn Balor, Alexa. Shinsuke is the stunning Steve. That's kind of cool. Transformers, Pixar, Batman. They haven't had nothing for multiverse. Just this gold label. I already have them. There's the whole Ghostbusters line. Let's try again. I haven't restocked this Target in about a month, so not having high hopes, but. Stay on target. We're too close. Stay on target. Milk truck just arrived. If you know what that means, drop it in the comments down below. All right, looks like we have some new stuff finally. Seeing this Kong everywhere. Got too many chairs. Friday the 13th. Predator. There's something out there waiting for us. T1000. If this was just Chucky, I would probably get it, but I don't care about Tiffany really. Pretty cool. I've been thinking about getting Friday the 13th figure for a while. I need a Jason Necka. Part 2. Still got these Ghostbusters figures. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Wow. Now they have this Robin. After I already got him. Thanks for nothing, Target. Joker's still peg warming. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Got some black series. Same ones has been here forever. Got him already. Got him already. Okay, so that was a pretty successful little hunt that I just had. I got a couple of real toys from NECA. I don't know why I'm so late to the NECA party, considering they pretty much just make movie figures and that's what I'm all about. What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! I think it was the price point that used to scare me away, but now that I actually have them, I see that they're definitely worth the price. So the first thing that I picked up was this Super Shredder from Secret of the Ooze. I just did a review of this movie like days ago for its 30th anniversary, so please go check that out if you're interested. Super Shredder was a must-buy for me. He's from one of my favorite Ninja Turtles movies to this day, and I'll be looking forward to unboxing him in a future video. He must have drank all of it! 
I was contemplating whether or not I was actually going to open them or not because in my mind I'm never going to find the NECA Ninja Turtles from the movies because they're just so hard to come by at least in my area but I think this figure kind of stands on its own so I think I'm going to hold on to it and I picked up another NECA figure this time from Friday the 13th it is Jason. I've been wanting to get a Jason figure for a while and I finally pulled the trigger. I can only assume this is supposed to be the Jason from the remake of Friday the 13th considering the box art and you know what I'm fine with that because I actually like the Friday the 13th remake. Not all remakes are always bad. Anybody care about what I want? I do. Shut up. Get out. And I wanted this one because he had more of a traditional look. The sackhead Jason was also there, and this one just spoke more to me, I guess. And this one also has an extra head that is the sackhead, so it works out anyway. So I'm definitely looking forward to unboxing him on a future video as well. So let me know what you thought about these two NECA figures that I picked up on this week's hunt. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time right here on Real Shift. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Y'all be cool. Shut up.